Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We've got a brand new client update for the Steam Deck that came out just yesterday night. So let's have a look and see what's changed. Um, let's get into it. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. Like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you love handle gaming and want more on your homepage every day. Let's go. Before we get into it though, guys, please do yourself a favor, go check the link in the top comment and the video description down below because the new JSOX um, RGB 12-in-1 docking station has been released. It has a lot of new features like VRR support, HDR support, and 4K 120 hertz. And if you want to, Quad HD up to 244 hertz. It's absolutely nuts. Go check it out. It's 99 bucks. I think there's a coupon code if you use Blaze2K in the checkout process. JSOX is one of the leading brands when it comes to Steam Deck and handheld accessories. Do yourself a favor. This thing looks absolutely freaking nuts guys look at it look at this who would have wanted this on their desk holding their steam deck and also quick shout out to pixelbuys.com go check it out put your email in subscribe to the emails if you're a geek and you love buying tech gaming love news love gift guides all that cool stuff check it out what's new and cool and go check out pixel buys and shove your email in there subscribe and also go check the link down below in the video description for my list of favorite steam deck accessories follow it heart it bookmark it share it check on it every now and again because i'm always adding cool new stuff anyways into the news so steam deck put out uh, uh, steam or Val I'll put out a new up client update for the Steam Deck on January 11th. Um, we've just shipped an updated Steam Deck client to the stable default channel. Now, here's Steam Deck HQ's um, take on it. So they said yesterday the new Steam Deck client was released, bringing over a wealth of changes from the beta, beta branch. The Steam Workshop menus have been completely reworked, allowing you to sort and change the load order, disable, swap out items based on collections, and check detailed information about the mods you're subscribed to. On top of that, there's been a reduction in black screen flashes when opening the Steam interface. I had that happen a couple of times. The near scaling mode has been replaced with Pixel and some crashes have been fixed. A small, <coughs> oh, pardon me. a small crash in Black Ops 3 was fixed and the HDR visualization options have been moved. It's a welcome update with a fantastic redesign of how you can interact with workshop mods easily. So this is cool. So let's take a look. So, the general changes. They've reduced the amount of black screen flashes which happening when opening the Steam interface while playing a game with a custom refresh rate setting. Interesting. That's a good quality of life improvement. Replaced nearing scale um, near a scaling mode with pixel, a pseudo band limited filter for upscale upscaling pixel art to non-integer factors without introducing aliasing. Integer scaling factors will still be nearest. Um, fixed friends who play section not refreshing until the client was restarted. That is nice. Fixed the crashing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 when switching maps. Fixed situations causing the same client to only download when the Windows version of a title and later attempting to run it without base. Hold on. Fixed situations causing the Steam client to only download the Windows version of a title and later attempting to run it without Proton. Hmm. Good, they fixed that. Reset the HDR visualization setting to none for all users. Um, move the HDR visualization setting from display advanced to developer settings. Okay, so they're obviously not wanting people to play with that too much. They moved it to the dev settings section. Interesting. Adjusted the recent games page header so that it's visible when changing selection. They fixed left trackpad haptics, triggering a wrong pressure for the Steam Deck OLED. Interesting. I have a Steam Deck OLED, as you know. And fixed few additional artwork, but not properly showing content on the same track details pages and as for the steam workshop let me know in the comments guys do you use the steam workshop i have never used in fact wait hold on i did use it i used it for euro truck simulator back in the day and american truck simulator it's pretty handy being able to just download your mods and get them into the game very easily i know my friend carlos the bird who joins the live streams from time to time wondering if Bat wondering how to was asking how to install batman arkham mods and i says can't you use the steam workshop and he says it doesn't have a Steam Workshop page. Interesting. So not all games have Steam Workshop. Um, redesigned the Workshop subscriptions list accessible from game properties. It now includes the, the ability to sort by subscription date, last updated size, name, and load order. Added ability to change the local load order of Workshop item subscriptions. Added the ability to set local order based on Workshop item dependencies. Must be set in the Workshop items themselves. Added ability to disable Workshop item subscriptions, which will hide them from the game. Added the ability to filter the Workshop subscriptions by tag name. Use the search field for filtering items by name. Show the name of the workshop item being downloaded in the game's tooltip on the downloads page added functionality that allows swapping the items in your subscription list quickly using collections um added the ability to say filtered item fil 
save the filtered list of items to a new or existing workshop collection. This will overwrite the contents of the collection with the contents of the list. Added the ability to overwrite the user subscription list to just the contents of the workshop collection. Added the ability to add items from a collection to the user subscription list. Sweet. Steam Cloud. So we've got some Steam Cloud updates. Fixed uploading for some apps which have a very large number of files. That is really good. Um, so especially for game saves and just games like like it says, you know, they have a large number of files. Sometimes Steam Sync or Game Save Syncs can be a little bit slow. So any improvements to that at all are greatly appreciated. Fix Sync for some apps which store files in the Windows user home directory. Good. I love it. I love Steam Cloud. It's one of the reasons why playing on Steam Deck or just Steam games in general on PC is just so enjoyable. Is because they've got the Steam Cloud um that makes everything so convenient. Just like, you know, switching between your game saves, switching between devices like the Steam Deck and the gaming PC and having your stuff, you know, cloud saved back and forth. It's just awesome. I'm so glad they have that. Um, fix the crash related to non Steam shortcuts as far as Steam inputs. Steam input is concerned. So there we go. A nice little bite sized, well, I wouldn't say bite sized, a big chain, a lot of fixes, and also a lot of workshop redesign changes. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you use the Steam Workshop? Is it something you love and appreciate? on the Steam Deck, on Valve's Steam client, on desktop as well. Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, if you love Handheld Gaming, want to stay up to date on all the updates, all the news, all the reviews, all the unboxings, and all the the geeky gaming tech news stuff that we all love, then please consider supporting the channel by clicking like, subscribe, clicking the bell icon. And hey, if you want to support even more and support my live streams, which I do every day at 4 a.m. Central Time, come join me every now and again. Um, and I also replay them in the afternoon at 2 p.m. Central Time if you missed the morning one. Um, come join me. And if you want to support more, click the join button down below, guys. Become a member. Get a badge next to your name. Get a green name. Um, join our members only chat. And also, <coughs> pardon me, Get access to all our previous live streams because they're all in the members only section. Every time we do a live stream, whether it be me tidying my office, doing a vlog, or just playing some games in the morning, um, you'll find all the replays on the live stream on the members only tab. And we've got a ton of cool recordings, guys, where I play with my friends, Late Night Warzone, um, Resident Evil 4, which I'm playing right now. Become a member, go watch some clips from that. It's 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 a cool group. The Blaze 2K Squad. The Blaze Squad. Come join it. Click join and um be part of the family. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you stick around and watch the next video. Peace out. Let's go.